All right, I got my friend Louie in here with me right now in the studio. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, we're going to talk about angles of rotation real quick, and we're just going to look at um, what it means to rotate something. So let's say that I'm going to rotate around this point, and let's make a segment here. Let's make this segment right here. I'm going to rotate it. I think I'm going to go this direction around that point. So that's clockwise around that point. So let me do an angle of rotation real quick. So we're going to rotate this segment around that point. Let's go clockwise and I don't know. Let's go. What do you think? Will we give me 55 degrees or what do you think? 60. 60 degrees. Okay, so we've got 60 degrees. Now, what, let's check some things out. Properties of rotations. Let's check them out. I want you to notice this. I want you to notice that if we measure from A to B, see how long that says it is right there? How long is it, Louie? 1.48. 1.48. And what about if we take from the center of rotation and we measure to B prime? What do you think that's going to be? 1.48. Should be the same, right? Yeah. So that's one of the properties of rotation is that when we move a point, that it moves, but it stays exactly as far away from the from the center of rotation. Doesn't doesn't change its distance from the center. Okay. So what are we going to see when we measure out C prime? How long is C prime going to be? 2.54. Right, because it was, in the pre-image, it was 2.54, so we know in the image it's going to stay 2.54. So that's one of the properties here, is that they're going to always stay the same distance. And then, of course, we could measure those angles, and they're, of course, going to measure 60 degrees. That's the other property, right? If I measure this angle here, it measures 60 degrees, which we already knew. All right, so now, um, knowing that property, what if I had... No A. What if I didn't know where A was? Let's take A away. Hold on. There it is. It's gone. And let's get rid of these segments. I'm going to delete these segments here. And let's say you had a word problem where it said just, you know, I need to rotate this segment over to this segment. Right? So what we know is we got to find the distance or the points that are equally distant from here because we know that wherever we rotate from it might be over here somewhere but it has to be just as far from B as B prime right so so this is a really important thing in fact let me hide those other segments for a minute and let's even hide C for a minute so that it gets really clear here what we're talking about take C off I need to find all the points that are equally distant from B and B prime they're going to, like this point is, if we forget about C for a minute, we just think about the, the points that are equally distant. Remember how we find that is we make a segment and then we do an, a perpendicular bisector. Because remember earlier you, you did a proof where you said, hey, if you're on here, you're going to be just as far from B as B prime. The perpendicular bisector is the points, the set of points that are all equally distant from the endpoints of a segment. Kind of remember that rule? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the only problem is, so it could be the center rotation is going to be on this line somewhere. But the problem is, it also has to be equally distant from C and C prime. Let's bring them back for a minute and get rid of that perpendicular bisector. We'll get rid of B's for a minute. Okay, we'll take those B's away so we don't worry about those. Now we need to find, if this rotated to there, where are the set of points that are equally distant there? It's going to be on their perpendicular bisector, right? So what I would do is I just make the segments and connect them like that, see? And I find its perpendicular bisector. The only problem here is that I need to be equally distant from both, right? So all of these points are equally distant to C and C prime. But, but I need to be equally distant to to both. Let's go back and look at the original segments that we were given, right? Uh-oh. There we go. Take that line away. Take that line away. And let's start with the original problem we had. Okay, the original problem was that we had B, C, and B prime, C prime. B prime, C prime. Where's that segment there? And we had to find out where were they rotating from. So what we do is we draw this segment and this segment. Okay, we find the perpendicular bisector of that segment and the perpendicular bisector of the other segment. Now, see that point right there? That point is called the point of concurrence. It's where the two lines agree. So since that point right there, let's find that, let's define it. I get that intersection point right here and I say 
Give me the point where these two lines intersect. Okay, let's talk about it. That point right there is equally distant from B and B prime because it's on its perpendicular bisector, but it's also equally distant from C and C prime because it's on its perpendicular bisector. See that? So now we know that D has to be the point. It's the only point in the plane where these two lines cross. So it's the only point that's equidistant from these two and equidistant from those two. So if I was given this problem said, find the center of rotation and also the angle of rotation, I would say my center is, what's my answer for my center? D. Yeah, what's it called? What's the coordinates? Um, C and E. No, no, no. The, the coordinates of D are? Oh, 1.42 and 4.54. Exactly, right there. 1.42, 4.54. That is the coordinates. Those would be my answer because because it's the point, right, that we could rotate around. And then it would say, okay, but what about the angle? So I would have to measure that angle here and say, what was the degree of rotation? 60 degrees. Yeah, and if I measured that, I should be able to measure this one, and what should this measure? What's it gonna measure? 60 degrees. Should be exactly the same. And then if I do have it that it's exactly the same, they're both equal to this, I know I did it perfectly right, okay? So my answer is, 1.42, 4.54 is my center. The, deg the degree of rotation is 60 degrees. And then the direction of the rotation, look, we went from B to B prime. So that means we're rotating clockwise or counterclockwise? Clockwise. That's right, we're going clockwise. Okay, good job. That's how that work is done.